Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. We are making an amazing apple cake and it's one of my Aunt Jane's recipes. We have not had this cake in years, but it was in with my mother's recipes, a really old tattered piece of paper. I thought, well, you know what? It's fall, it's got apples in it. People love cooking with apples and pumpkins, right? So stay tuned, we are gonna give this amazing cake a try. Alrighty, we are going to put our sugar in our bowl and then that's one and a half cups and our one cup of oil. Oops, just splattered oil everywhere. Oopsies. Put that all in here. And this recipe, you know, it's old and all it says is mix in this order. So. Okay, mix that. Now we're gonna beat in our two eggs. Dry my hands here. And this we're gonna, you know, it just says mix, but I'm gonna do a little, try to get a little emulsification going here. Okay. I'm gonna add my cinnamon salt and baking soda to my flour. I'm just gonna stir that together. Now we'll put it in here. It doesn't say a little at a time, but for some reason I feel like I need to do a little at a time. Even though it doesn't tell me that. You will preheat your oven to 300. It's an odd one, these old vintage cake recipes. Okay, so an odd consistency here. A little thicker than a cake. Um, boy, let me just check and make sure I have everything in here. <laughs> Okay, we forgot the vanilla, no worries. So we have to add our apple and our nuts. Everything's in there that's supposed to be. It's just an interesting consistency. So we have three and a half cups of apples. And then about a cup of nuts. I might have extra nuts in there, but who cares, right? And that is it, that's our cake. Doesn't tell me what kind of pan to put it in. I'm putting it in just a nine by 13 this first time, because it has so much apple, I don't see it holding up in a bunk pan. Um, but it might. Let's talk apples. I ended up using a Honeycrisp apple, which is a nice, sweet, tangy apple with a good crisp bite. Um, you know, but if you like gala, go use a gala. Now my preference for this would have been a Granny Smith, because I love how tart a Granny Smith apple is with baking. But they didn't have any at the grocery store I was at. I know, isn't that weird? So I used my second favorite for baking, and that is a Honeycrisp. So, but try the kind of apple that you like to bake with. Did not say to grease my pan, but I did. And now we're gonna put this in. It also doesn't say anything about frosting. Um, I do have a little frosting in my freezer, uh, some cream cheese frosting that, why wouldn't that taste good? I might get out just to try it both ways, see if it needs frosting or not. Maybe just when it's cooled, some powdered sugar on top would be good. Okay, we're putting this in the oven at 300 for one hour. Okay, I could lie to you and say I haven't had any, but I already have, but that's okay, right? Um, let me tell you, it is spectacular. You can see that it's not a big cake. It's almost like a bar. You could call it a bar. Um, I just did powdered sugar on top. You can try a frosting or a glaze. A glaze would probably be better. This cake has so many apples in it. It is so good. 
it has, it just said nuts for the recipe. I used walnuts because walnuts and apples go hand in hand. So um, if you want to try a different kind of nut, you go right ahead. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Please subscribe below, and I'd love to hear from you with a thumbs up.